probably the worst video I'm going to make, but I wanted to do it um, because I think I've had a re I'm really happy with my purchase. Um, it's a jacket from Hackett, and it's part of the Aston Martin um, branded um, run that they had pre-Christmas, and I got it in a January sale. Uh, there's not stores everywhere. Um, where I live, there are none. I was happened to be in London yesterday, so I, 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 I really hit the streets looking for a jacket. I'm desperate for a jacket. Um, and this is the unbagging, maybe the first YouTube unbagging of that jacket. And I'll show you why I like it and what I look for, not just in jackets, but in terms of quality of clothes and things like that. Um, and I think this one does it. So, but first off, what, what are you doing making bags like this? Drags along the floor. Anyway, so this is the unbag. And here it is. Back to light. So, getting getting some of the details. Um, very nice zip there. That's obviously very waterproof. Now the branding on this one is quite minimalistic, so it's it's limited to, um, for example, just that small bit there. So it's not too much in your face. But what what really drew me to this jacket is just the quality of things like the zips. I saw a lot of jackets yesterday, and we're talking um, like, I saw thousand pound jackets with cheap zips in. What is going on? If you're a guy and you, and as a jacket, you get to, to love it. It's a piece of your clothing that you possibly wear almost every day, depending where you live. And you, you kind of get a bit attached to your jacket. And when the zip goes, you're like, man, the, the game is over for jackets. So don't put cheap zips on jackets, please. Um, yeah, the cool thing about this jacket is it's two jackets in one. So you've got versatility there. And this was a £400 jacket originally, and I got it for 216 So see, get yourself down there, January. You still have time. And it's got it's got all sorts of nice, nice quality ideas in here. You can actually Things like this, you can see the quality of the jacket, the line. This is as good as a ski jacket. I'm going to be able to use the skiing, which is another bonus. Um, it has this inside. So you can basically change the shape of the jacket, pull it in at the waist. So that is another, another plus for me. So, so the lining is really light, but let's, let's just try it. And that's it. It's it's reasonably formal enough um, that you could you could you can wear it for work. I'll definitely wear it for work. Obviously, it's sporty um, because it, and if you like cars, it's like a no-brainer. I like cars. I don't have an Aston Martin. Maybe if you guys share this video enough, it could happen one day. So nice small pocket there. And let's take out. The inside lining. The lining does attach at the cuff. Um, just, just to show it just wasn't, it's just not being attached at the moment. Now I've got very stylish, just spring summer jacket. And this then has got the Aston Martin branding on it. So, yeah, I'll go over this video, um, the jacket, and, and show you just at the end some of the some of the bits and the qualities, which is what you look for. Really. So I saw thousand pound jackets, um, and Montclair actually in Selfridges had a really nice jacket that I wanted for about thousand three hundred pounds, um, but. Actually, it didn't look massively different to this. It was maybe styled a little bit more. Um, 
the feature the feature of the Montclair was this kind of zip thing that you've seen in ski jackets for, for quite a lot, which just keeps it, it's like a, a dry pocket. It's got, it's got a, it's got a hood in there again, sealed away. Um, the hood, you, you would, you, you could use it, but you wouldn't use it on a daily basis. You'd use it if you needed to use it, it's there. Um, and then it's got just the four breasted pockets and that. They did, they do do a really nice um, wax, wax jacket that you can see in the blog post that I'm going to attach this to. Um, so that's, that's the jacket really. And then the versatility allows you to obviously wear this without the, um, without the lining. And then it feels more like just kind of like a raincoat and you would want the jumper on probably. Um, but it allows you to then wear a nice uh, jumper. So, so yeah, so that's the expand in the open cuff thing. Just because it's in black, it's hard to get. It's not a well lit video either, so. I did say this was the worst video I'll ever make, probably, um, but I did just want to. Just testing my LG as G pad as well to film this. I um, need to get a proper tripod set up, but love that tablet too. So, yeah, I can slacken this off this side, which is the, the trim thing. So, I can tighten it right up this side and tighten it right up this side. And it basically pulls, pulls the jacket in. You can see it fully in there the side as well a little bit so so you're able to change the shape of the, the jacket to suit you um, a few more years and I should be wanting to uh, wear it loose yeah so that's that's that but there's lots of other good coats uh, that I saw. If you've got the money, check out Selfridges and um, the Montclair stuff because it's just really designed. It's um, I I I would say that the, the the value is in in some of the design there. It's just super super looking coats. Um, otherwise, there's just a lot of me too's. You know, there's just the the furry um, collars are are in at the moment, which I don't don't object to that. But just just putting out a jacket for a, 800 pound with a furry collar that's not got a lot else about it you've got to have some functionality in there so this i can ski with this as well no problem um and the red and the black go very well with my um beats audio uh headphones so yeah very pleased with my uh, aston martin jacket there and um i guess i made this video just as a as adding to um the blog post on jackets for men. Um, I think there's some nice ones in there. If you come across some nice ones, grab a picture and please um, submit it in the comments. That would be awesome. So we'll wrap this up now and say bye.